So a few months back, then Giants cornerback DeAndre Baker, along with Quentin Dunbar and another guy, were accused of robbing guests at a house party for what basically would amount to chump change for an NFL player. The items only added up to about $70,000 to split between two rich guys and another cat. So right off the bat, the story never quite added up. Then, only about a week after the charges were filed, all the victims randomly dropped the charges, they changed their stories, and they stopped cooperating with the police department. We talking three or four people whose story went from, we were robbed at gunpoint, then that turned into, you know what, I really wasn't in a position to get a good look at what happened. I never saw him with the gun, I never saw XYZ, the whole situation just changed. It was at this point that I and probably everybody else assumed, okay yeah, this is a payoff situation, we talking hush money. And it made sense because the stuff that they supposedly lost wasn't very valuable. And even a relatively small payoff would have put the supposed victims in a position where they was coming out with more than they went into the situation with in the first place. Then a month or so later, more information came out as one of the witnesses was caught via Instagram DM admitting that he'd spoke with the other witnesses about changing their stories. He talked about how the whole thing was supposed to be a friendly game a Madden for the money but it turned into an altercation when one participant didn't want to pay up. It then allegedly escalated from that to a full-fledged robbery. This whole situation looked very, very bad for DeAndre Baker as Quentin Dunbar wasn't even actually charged. But DeAndre Baker, the 22-year-old who kind of has a history of being kind of one of those troubled guys, there were a lot of red flags with him coming out of college and some teams had literally taken him off of their draft board because of his supposed checkered past. So when all of this stuff came out, the obvious payoff situation, the Instagram DMs, things looked very, very bad for DeAndre Baker. But plot twist, today it was announced that all charges against DeAndre Baker have officially been dropped. And not only that, he can rejoin the NFL as soon as right now. Here's the short of what happened, okay? Instead of DeAndre in cuffs, the attorney who represented the alleged victims, a cat named William Dean, was the one that ended up getting arrested this morning for, you guessed it, trying to extort DeAndre Baker. The Broward County Sheriff Department has been investigating Dean since August, and they were able to find out that Dean was attempting to force DeAndre Baker to pay each of the victims over $250,000 apiece. And he was trying to broker a deal with DeAndre saying that the victims had agreed to stop cooperating with prosecutors and change their stories and basically throw the cops off of their trail so that they could no longer prosecute DeAndre. In court, they presented evidence of a message Dean sent where he said and I quote anything you want so long as the money is right he was corrupt and was found out therefore the attorney's office announced what's called a nolly prosecue which means they're unwilling to prosecute in latin so DeAndre kind of gets off on a technicality now they don't say this explicitly but just based on the way everything has come out it seems like DeAndre was also cooperating with the guy who was trying to extort him, which I guess is not illegal from that side of it, I guess. I'm not a lawyer and I have no idea, but here's what I do know. DeAndre Baker got extremely lucky in this situation. I thought he really lucked out here because the third guy that was with him and Quentin Dunbar literally said on Instagram, bruh, how about Dre them just robbed the dice game? Dunbar told him cats to do that. He literally sent that on IG and it matches exactly what the witnesses said in their first report, okay, before the stories changed. But according to the reports, at this point, it seems it, none of that matters. And I can't lie, I feel happy for DeAndre Baker, although I do think he's guilty of something. With that being said, dude is a 22 year old kid and I'm just hoping that he really learns from this situation. You know what I'm saying? He's getting another opportunity and I really hope that he learned the lesson here and from this point forward moves in a way that's a lot less reckless. Like don't even be in them situations and if he actually did what he was accused of doing, like come on bruh. 
but you gotta use your head. This morning, the league office announced that DeAndre is free to sign with any team, okay? The NFL is gonna do their own investigation, but he can practice and play while the investigation takes place. He might still be suspended and or fined, depending on what the NFL investigation finds, but he's pretty much back in the league, although as of the time of me recording this video, he hasn't signed with a team yet. Um, the Giants aren't interested in re-signing him according to reports, but there are several other teams who are interested in his services. At this point, you're talking about a 22 year old first round pick who plays a position, a premium position, you know, cornerback in the league. The dude's obviously got a lot of talent and he's gonna get another opportunity to showcase that. I think it's really a blessing for him and I just hope he counts that blessing and move forward the right way. In short, DeAndre Baker's getting a second chance. Let's just hope this time he makes the most of it.